Hello everyone, my name is Kaylee and today I'm going to be giving you guys a life update. I'll be talking about everything that has been going on in my life and it's a lot. A lot of bumpy roads and that's why I've been looking kind of whack in all my videos and TikToks. But if you guys don't follow me on anything else then you guys probably don't know and this video is probably good to watch because it just tells you about what I've been doing with my life and just updating you guys on everything. But I am on the way to Kava. It's like this food place, I think it's new, I've never heard of it, but I heard of it on TikTok and then I looked it up and to see if there was one near me and there is, it's by the mall. So we're going now to try it while I talk about everything that's going on in my life. And then I also want to stop at Target because I heard the Legos were on sale and I just want to go see that since I'm already by the mall. So I will get back to you guys when I am at Kava. All right, so change of plans. I just looked at DoorDash to see like what Kava had and stuff. And honestly, it's nothing that I feel like I would actually like and it's quite expensive. So I think I'm just gonna go to Target and then I'm gonna go to Chipotle. That's right next to Target and then just eat something there because I do have an appointment at two. And then I have to film a video with my brother after this video. So I'm going to be busy and I just want to fill up. So that's what I'm going to do. And I haven't had Chipotle in a while. I know Chipotle is having a little scandal about the portions and then all that stuff. But I'm choosing to ignore. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to head over there. And actually, I'm going to start talking while I am driving there because why not? So my first thing is... Do I have a boyfriend and I know I've showed him in the videos and stuff but if this is your first time seeing my channel I do have a boyfriend and a lot of people are asking to do a video with him and stuff and I mean like I'm not hiding him like you guys know I have a boyfriend you guys know like what he looks like and stuff but I'm just not gonna physically do a video with him like get to know my boyfriend and like Q&A and stuff I'm not gonna get that specific into it because I just feel like in my past relationships that didn't help out anyone so I'm just gonna keep that part private and stuff but like I'm not gonna like hide him you know like I don't think that's like appropriate to hide him since you guys know so much about my life and I don't want him either to feel like I'm trying to like I'm like embarrassed or something so I love him. He is so sweet. Literally the sweetest human being ever to me. And I've never been treated this good. So I'm very happy. So that is one part of my life update. Anyways, the next update is what I'm going to be doing for school. So I am down as a graduate right now. I have all my credits done. I am doing US Gov right now which I will get done before the school starts and that's the only thing I need to graduate early. And a lot of people are just like, so are you walking? Like, when are you walking and all that? I know it's a little bit confusing, but I am walking with my class. My, my class is 2025 because I was just like, I grew up with these people, you know, I don't want to walk with a class that I don't really know anyone. I mean, I do know like, what well, it already happened first of all and I didn't have my classes done like I could graduate this summer like right now but then I was just like I'm not ready to grad like walk the stage and like stuff and it's not going to be like traditionally like your whole class walking the stage if you're doing it during summer it's going to be different and I want to do it like traditionally so yeah I'm not going back to school and a lot of people are asking then what am I going to do if I'm not going to college and all that stuff so I'm here to explain I am thinking of going to cosmetology school. That is my plan as of right now. I'm not gonna go there right away, like next year, go there. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna take some time and honestly focus on myself because school ha like, has been hell for me. Ever since middle school, I was super depressed. I just could not stand school. I would use any excuse to get out of school and all that stuff so i just want to see how i am and i'm doing perfectly fine now without like knowing that i'm not going back to school and i'm perfect how i am so that is a big thing and i just want to see where the wind takes me a lot of people are like oh 
how are you going to make money if you're not going to college and all that stuff. And I genuinely think not college is a waste. People who go to college are very successful. They get what they want and stuff. But you have to go for the right reasons. Like, know what you want, I feel. And I'm not the type to want to go to college for, like, parties and stuff like that. Like, the party schools, like, the big universities. I would not want to do that. If I ever do want to go to college, I can go to my community college and I'll do that. Because you could go at any age. And that's why I am graduating high school. I know a lot of people get their, like, GD and, like, just, like, don't graduate. But I'm definitely graduating in my diploma. And my GPA has been really good. My GPA is a 3.8. I think that's pretty good. So, if I ever have a plan B, it's probably to go to that community college and get whatever I want to do. But I'm just not sure what I want to do yet. And I just think that's not the plan for me as of right now. So that answers everything, hopefully, about my school, what's happening next year, and stuff like that. So now I get to talk about what has been happening these past, like, three weeks. So I've been in and out of hospitals and appointments and stuff like that. I mean, I only went to the hospital once. I've been to, like five appointments already and I have two more coming up I have one today and tomorrow so yeah a lot of stuff has been has been going on with me so it first started well my eyes I'll start with my eyes my eyes have been swollen poofy and all that since we went to the Dominican Republic but I like went away and then it came back and that's I have an allergy test on my back right now um, I'm, that's why I'm going to an appointment today. I'm going to get it off and then I have to go back tomorrow because it's going to be like all red and stuff and they can't really tell. So I have to go back Thursday so they can tell if I'm allergic to anything that they put on my back. I'm not really sure what they like exactly tested me for. I know they tested me for like makeup products and like shampoo and conditioner and stuff. Because that's really, I feel like all that would make me be allergic in my eyes and stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what it is because I never actually got tested if I was allergic to anything. Um, I've always just thought I wasn't allergic to anything, but I mean, we'll see. So, that's that. And then I went to Disney Springs with my boyfriend. I made a video. It was my last video, if you guys saw. And we ate something, right? And I felt, like, fine, but I just felt full. Like, I was like, okay. And I barely, like, really ate. Like, that was kind of, like, the first thing I had eaten, like, actually food. And I was just like, oh, I feel a little... Mm. But then, like, that was at 6. And then we left around, like, maybe 7, 8. And my stomach was hurting in the car. And I was, like, trying to hold it in. I tried to take a nap because usually when I take a nap and I don't feel good, it, like, goes away. But this did not. I woke up even worse. And then throughout the night, I could not sleep. I did not sleep. I was in so much pain. My back was hurting. Everything was hurting. And I was like, should I go to the hospital? Like, I think I need to. Like, this was like a pain I've never like felt before. And I was just like, I think I need to go to the hospital. But I was trying to push it off as much as I could because I hate like the hospital. I hate the doctors. I hate everything about that stuff. And I knew I would have to get an IV because when I was younger, I used to have stomach issues as well. And I had to always be in a hospital and, like, get IVs and stuff. And I just think I was, like, traumatized by that. But, yeah, so I did end up going to the hospital around, like, 9, 10 in the morning. Because I was like, I cannot take this anymore. And then I got there. I had a pee in a cup, you know. And then... I was like telling them about everything and they're like you might have a kidney infection and I was like I was scared I was like scared freaking out my anxiety gets raised to the roof when I think there's something wrong with me and stuff and then they were like I'm gonna do some labs on you and you know what labs mean it's getting blood out of you so I started freaking out even more I was hyperventilating I was oh my anxiety was through the roof the only thing that bothers me about blood tests is like the tight, like, um, the 
tourniquet. Like, it just bothers me so much. I feel so, like, claustrophobic, and I just want to, ugh, I just can't even think about it right now. I know that's so dramatic because I literally get piercings and stuff, but it's just, like, not the same. I, it's not the same. It's not really the needle that, like, hurts me. It's, like, everything else about it. So that's that. Anyways, and then I had to do a CAT scan. I was in the hospital for like five, six hours maybe. Um, right when they put the IV and then the, the stuff in the IV, I felt so much better already. Yeah, I felt so much better already, but I was so tired, so weak. I felt so weak and like everything. And then, yeah, they just sent me home with some things like antibiotics. So yeah, that's kind of that. And then on top of that, I had like a little, I was congested with something. My nose was like, as you hear it, I was coughing and oh my God, there's just so much wrong with me at the same time. It was just a lot for me. And that's why I haven't been looking the best. I can't put anything on my face. I don't know what is causing it. I'm scared to do anything. My hair has been in a bun since I could remember. Because anytime I wash my hair, my hair falls out. I know my hair is dead, and that's why I kind of avoid washing my hair as much as I can. So it's just a lot, guys. It's a lot. Uh, but anyways, we're almost here. So that's kind of like my life update, really. Nothing too special, just interesting. Something I didn't call for. But yeah, I definitely feel better in the kidney section, like that part of what was wrong with me. I still feel a little congested. I feel weak at times and I would like, I can't really eat that much. Um, I just feel weak all in all. Oh, also when I was, um, when I was feeling it at night before I went to the hospital, I thought it was maybe because I just ate too much, even though I literally didn't eat that much at all. And I was like, maybe I just need to make myself throw up because I felt like I needed to throw up. But like usually throwing up makes you feel better when you're like sick. So I was like, maybe I'm going to try to make myself throw up. And I did like three freaking times. I kept having to go back to the bathroom after the first time I tried to make myself throw up. After that, it was just coming out everywhere. So yeah, it was a lot and I hate being sick. But something I was thinking of, this would have been perfect during school. I know that's so bad to say. Like, I don't wish this pain on anyone or, like, I wish I was, like, good 100%. But, like, this would have been so perfect during school so I could skip so much. Like, but it's okay. I'm glad I'm better now. The people at the hospital were super nice. Like, super, super nice. They made me feel safe. But yeah, anyways, I'm about to be at Chipotle. Do I want Chipotle, y'all? Do I want to get food? Alright, whoa. I don't know if I want to get food or not. I think we're just going to go to Target. I don't think I want food. Yeah, we're just going to go to Target. I want to see what Lego sets they got on sale, if there is any, because I saw, like, the sale, like, maybe, like, 10 days ago. <laughs> like, these people posted it, like, 10 days ago. But, I mean, hopefully they're just, like, not sold. Oh, wait, wait, I need to stay in this lane. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so I'll see y'all there. Hey guys, so I'm at Target, and I'm gonna go in. I kind of feel embarrassed, because I do have the patches on my back, so I don't wear a bra. And yeah, I just look very lazy. I'm wearing this and then some PJ shorts that say juicy on the back of my butt. But it's okay. Hopefully I don't see anyone I know, even though I probably will. <sighs> clearances but they're all taken 
Like all the ones that have that are all taken. I just want to get one just to build it. Like I'm going to get paid soon and that's when I'm going to, you know, but like right now I just want to build something. I'm going to start a collection of the speed cars and then hang them up on my wall. I saw this person on TikTok do it and it looked amazing. So I want to do that. They say new lower prices, so I might grab one of these, but I'm not sure. I, I know they came out with a new like Mercedes one, like a G-Wagon, but I don't think they have it here. These are like just so cool. I really want that one. That one is super, super cool. But look at that price. It is a good deal. It says it was 100, now it's 70. That is super cool. But they also have like join free and you get like 30% off this stuff. I think I'm gonna get this one. It's only 26. Anyways guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned and understood a little bit more what was going on with my life and stuff but i did just get this lego set i'm super excited to build this because i am going to start this collection of the speed champions and this is a ford mustang so yeah i'm super excited but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one peace